Today on Most Toy Room, we're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys in our Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here comes the Batman Who Laughs. It's Halloween time, folks, and welcome to Moe's Toy Room. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room. Come from my room to yours. And today we're going to take a look at from McFarlane Toys in their Mortal Kombat 11 line. Here comes the Batman Who Laughs. You can see him kicking back behind his window, pain locked in his plastic prison, as he has finally made it here to Moe's Toy Room. This is going to be a hot assortment because uh, in this assortment they have a red cabal. They also have a, I think it's a shadow of spawn, which we will be reviewing later on this week. Um, and also that's about it for this, for this one. I mean, hopefully we can get some more, but this is something that I absolutely love when McFarlane does this because we are avid uh, Mortal Kombat players here in this house. So as far as having these skins... Yes, we do have them all, and we love playing this game. This is for ages 14 and up, and we had to pick this beauty up from Amazon. Yeah, we just could not find them amongst any store. I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but Target didn't have them. Walmart didn't have them, and we were waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally, I just gave up and said, you know what? We're doing Amazon, even though I am not big on that due to the way that they ship stuff out, but it got to me in one piece, so that was very cool. Uh, 19.99 uh, Prime, so free shipping. You can't go wrong. You can see Mortal Kombat 11, the Batman Who Laughs. He tends to have like his sickle right there. And a lot of people, let's get let's get this out of the way right now because a lot of people are saying that this is Noob Cybot. Okay, so they're saying there's a lot of reuse from here. They're saying that even the sickle is the same as a Noob Cybot and everything else. But I happen to have a Noob Cybot in hand, in box, uh, the bloody variant. So we are going to get to the bottom of this right now. And you can see that they are slightly different. They have their differences. Okay, you can even see amongst the sickle at the very bottom of these. This one does not have that bottom or that point or the other point that comes out. Yeah, they are slightly different. This sickle seems to be a little bit shorter around versus this one seems to be a lot longer. Uh, this one has more of a point than this one. This one cuts off fairly er early. And you could just see there, there really isn't uh, anything with Noob Cybot here. I mean, a lot of people could beg and different, well, differ about this, but the proof is in the pudding. You could see even the shoes are completely different figures. So there is no, um, yeah, this is a whole new figure right here. So yeah, now you know, folks. So um, don't believe the hype. I just uh, let that one out there. Uh, but anyway, you can see the side of the box, Mortal Kombat 11 McFarlane toys at the top. At the back, they have my man Scorpion right there. That They have been putting him on the back of all the boxes as of late uh, versus having the actual character on the back. I would have preferred to have the character on the back, but I could understand that stuff is costly nowadays. And McFarlane is trying his hardest to give us stuff at a good price. Although some of his stuff has went up in price uh, amongst all the other toys, but at least it hasn't went outrageously up in price due to the fact of inflation. I mean, you got to pay your employees. They, you know, they have to live too and everything else to get stuff out. So he is trying to save money on a lot of things. And I think that that's one of them is the box art and everything else. If they could reuse it, they're going to reuse it versus doing a whole new picture format where they would have to pay somebody for that and everything else to save us, to be able to give us the characters that we want. 22 points of moving parts with this beauty. And then you can see the MK Mortal Kombat Scorpion right off to the side right there. All right, folks, so let's get the beauty out of the package and see what he can do. All right, folks, first off, tail of the tape, we have to do it. Bottom of foot to very top of head right there. Um, the Batman Who Laughs is checking in at seven inches tall. And that translates to he's almost 18 centimeters. But from bottom of foot to very top of horn right there, you're looking at seven and a quarter inches, which is. Yeah, a, a very good uh, 18 and a half centimeters. All right, so 
the Batman Who Laughs tends to bring some stuff. First off, uh, no need to even take this even out of the package because this guy stands on his own. He comes with a Mortal Kombat uh, stand, which McFarlane has thrown in. And he also brings his sickle. So you can see this right here. Um, yeah, very good material. This is not intended for children. It could be pokey, but not too pokey. That one might be, uh, but these ones tend to be a little bit more plasticky. Um, yeah, molded plastic, a little bit harder in some areas, but you could see that the way that they went into detail. And believe it or not, this thing has two different colors to it. The handle on it is like a gray and off gray, but yet the rest of the sickle is a, is silver. And they even did it the band that goes around this area to hold that on is also gray. Yeah, nice touch. Very nice touch. All right. So here we have the Batman Who Laughs. This figure is very impressive. And what impresses me the most is he stands on his own. Very good. So let's give him a turn. You can see how he looks. Let me go right here like this. Very nice figure. Absolutely love it. They did a lot of good detail in this. You can see the back, the way that his uh, trench coat kind of looks. Uh, kind of gives us that Hellraiser feel. Um, something very dark for Batman that they would do out. Uh, I don't know how they came up with this character, but this is definitely something that you would see in Silent Hill or a Hellraiser character. Um, and to be for DC, this is big, very big, because DC normally doesn't do a lot of stuff. But due to the way that we've come about and we've evolved as human beings, uh, they can get away with a lot more stuff. Um, so now people are, they're finding out that people want zombies and, and death looking characters and everything else. And this guy does, he does not come under in any of that. He is all death. Um, just waiting to get you. Looks like he's having a good time, ready to torture you. Uh, got all the straps throughout his chest area, over his shoulders that are coming out. Uh, just You just see a whole lot of leather. Uh, all the spikes that are coming off of his wrist. Uh, looks like on this wrist right here, he has a gauntlet made of like barbed wire and, and spikes and everything else. Uh, just seriously insane. And then you're wondering, yeah, these are a little pokey, so watch it. Uh, no, they do not come off. You can see right there. You can see that, how that looks. But yeah, very odd, very strange. Um, as far as the shoes go, super nice. I like the fact that McFarlane has been covering up that big old ball joint that he usually leaves right there. And I like that. I really like that a lot. It makes it look like a higher end figure. Uh, and for $20, you just can't go wrong. This thing is very, very cool looking, very nice. All right, folks, so it is review time. Let's take a look and see as to what this guy can do. All right, so head doesn't look down too well. Looks up very good. I have to hold on to it, folks. So I'm sorry if you see my big old sausage fingers in the way. Hit that Michael Myers just in time for our final um, Halloween episode. Uh, you can see that right there. That is why I wore the Halloween ends mask because this is my final episode for Halloween. Um, and head can spin all the way around. Hits that Linda Blair from The Exorcist very well. Um, and also, so here we go. Arms do go up, hit 90. Very good. He seems to have that butterfly cup joint and it's way up in there. Look at, look at all that gap that's amongst in there. Look at that. Yeah, there's something like, it feels like something's almost missing. Like they just got, it just got it like way up in there. So you don't take this guy apart. So you can see that. Okay. And then on the other side, it's the same way. It looks like as if they forgot to put that butterfly cup joint in there. That's what it looks like. You can see that. And, and it just has that, that ball, ball joint, that um, dumbbell ball joint that's just sticking out there holding the arm on interesting but i mean look how that looks it just looks amazing all right so right here at the shoulder hold on you could get that uh bicep swivel and is this arm coming off bicep swivel on there okay yeah this is weird 
Okay, arms do go up and around. Very different. Look at this. Nice. I think McFarlane came on to something. Something cool. This guy's delivering. Okay, got that double bicep right there. Pin there, pin there. Very articulate, this guy. Su I mean, super articulate. They're talking like 22 points. Yeah, this guy nails them all. You can see that. Like as if he's thinking about something. Check him out. He's like, huh, who could I strike next? Should I like leave the Batman trilogy and go to Silent Hill? Or, hmm, should I just maybe go to a Hellraiser movie and add some spice to it? Uh, all right. So you could go right there and see that. And then as far as hand movement, that's about it. Not much. Hand movement because he has this in the way. But, hey, I'll take this any day. Because this guy's just going to be on display anyway. So you can see the little ball joint right up in there. He is on that. And that's about what we're getting, folks. And then the hand will move up and around. As far as any uh, swivel or twist right here amongst the top, you could tell that there is one inside there. But with all his getup right there, yeah. So I'll take the getup way over that. Okay, so as far as getting it to move... Let's see here. I have to really reach under. You see that? How I did that? So I have to really reach under. And he does have swivel at the waist. Okay. Legs will go, go there. That far. Running pose. Okay. Bruce Lee sidekick. That's what we're getting out of him. Okay. Yeah. He could even do more if you really wanted to. But yeah. He got that molded soft plastic. So I'm just telling you right now. This is. A very soft, rubbery plastic. Very thick material, but very soft. Super nice. I love what McFarlane did with that. This figure is just capturing it for me. And then the Anderson Silva straight kick. Although Anderson lost a big boxing match this weekend, but still, I'm still a huge Anderson Silva fan. All right. So right here, uh, if you're wondering with his hips, that's about nothing really there. And then obviously he has... Okay. You can see the pin there, pin there, and double jointed knees. Okay, so you can see how that piece is molded onto the extender that's in there, which is super cool. Okay, he has it on the other leg too. Also, he does the same, but this one, he got his stuff in the way, but same thing. You guys get what I'm saying. If you've been paying attention to my channel, you know what I'm talking about right here. All right, let's take a nice look at this beautiful piece. That figure is nice. I mean, I'm going to tell you, this is one of the nicer McFarlane figures that I've reviewed all year. I like this figure. This figure is super cool. All right, so as far as any swivel below the knee or anything else like that, nothing. But he does have some movement amongst his feet. Okay, feet will go down. They do go up very easily. And then obviously he has toe bend on both of them. Everything works perfectly on this figure. People at McFarland, you guys nailed it. This figure is freaking nice. Here he is with sickle in hand. This figure, yes, just delivers. I love it all the way. I mean... Folks, for $19.99, yeah, definitely uh, giving this figure a 9 out of a 10. And that's even just saying because, you know, just in case I find something wrong with it. Because right now I'm finding nothing wrong with this. And I am putting this one in my action figure of the year category uh, as a, as a runner-up, if not the winner. We'll see at the end of the year. Uh, because I am very, very impressed with this action figure and you have to include the price on it 1999 uh versus other figures that are way more expensive and this is more you get way more figure than price here um hands down mcfarland you guys and mcfarland toys have just did an excellent job with this one and nailed it look at how look at that oh my god just could you imagine a bloody variant of this thing holy cow I'm there. Put me down for a bloody variant. All right, folks. So you are wondering just how he looks amongst other Mortal Kombat figures. You can see right there how he looks. He plays 
very well amongst his brothers and sisters that are in here. These ain't all my Mortal Kombat figures, but the ones that actually just fit on there, as you could tell, I am very, very packed in there. And I have a lot still in box that I need to take out, but I just need a bigger display just for them because there's just so many of them that we own. But that's how he looks right there uh, next to his brothers and sisters. All right, folks, so that's my review for the Batman Who Laughs. Uh, I am going to have to ask my son, though, uh, because I think on the game you have to use a noob sidebot body in order to get this one. So that's probably where people are getting it from. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to ask him how we get him because he sets it up for me and we just sit there and play. Um, but anyway, um, please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits. Follow us on Instagram at Most Toys. It's M O E S T O Y S. Most Toys on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Check us out there, Most Toy Room. And right here on YouTube, folks, we are Most Toy Room. So enjoy your day because it's Happy Halloween, folks. Happy Halloween to everyone out there. Please be safe on this October 31st, 2022. And if you had any doubts about this figure, hopefully I answered every question in this video. Uh, if not, please leave a comment down below. But I am telling you right now, folks, this is way more figure than for the buck. I mean, this figure is just beautiful, awesome, and delivered in all areas. From most to yours, everyone, good night.